Hello, and welcome to the Altair Corporation's Guide to Understanding Your New Home in Space. In this short instructional video, we will discuss moving free and unfettered through the wilds of the Hellion system. First, lower your visor with the H key and step into the dock. Before beginning the depressurizing and opening of the outer door, be sure to close the inner door so that you don't depressurize your entire station. Once you have completed the process, the door will open and suck you out into deep space. Now that you are moving quickly away from your station into the endless void, this is the perfect time to discuss the science of movement in space. In space, movement is perpetual because there is no gravity or atmosphere to create friction to slow you down. Fortunately, the spacesuit that is sustaining your little trip also comes equipped with thrusters for movement. The standard movement keys W, S, A, and D will engage your lateral thrusters while you can move up and down by pressing space and control respectively. To decrease movement, simply fire thrusters in the opposite direction until your speed reduces. You will be able to get plenty of practice on your trip back to the station. By now, you might have noticed that your suit's oxygen reserves have almost depleted. To restock them, you will need to head back to the station. Press X to bring up a list of nearby objects. By selecting one with the arrow keys, a reference point overlay will appear, displayed as white dots. These will show your relative motion to the selected object and will help guide you back to the station. Once you are inside the station, simply connect an oxygen storage tank to your suit or hook up to the main system through one of our handy cargo terminals. On your way back to the station, you'll no doubt notice the airlock floating in space next to your new home. With just a quick spacewalk, this airlock can be part of your new space station. Locate and acquire an Altair Corporation welding tool and be sure to take it with you, as most likely some part of your ship will have been damaged in the journey. Leaving the dock, activate your reference point overlay to guide you towards the airlock. Assess the exterior of the airlock for any damage. Once located, damage can be repaired with the welding tool. Thanks to breakthroughs in design and engineering, all Altair Corp modular space products are 100% compatible. All pods have an external RCS access point on the exterior. To hook this pod up to your station, head over and access the panel. The panel display will show you a view from the pod's port. On the left side of the interface, you will see the module status as well as ports the module can attach with. On the right side of the screen, you will see a list of all modules in range that can be attached to this module. As this module has an airlock, it is compatible with any hatch that is not an airlock. When you have selected a compatible port, the docking interface will appear and the compatible port will glow orange. You can then steer the pod into place using its thrusters. Movement speed and direction is displayed by directional red lines protruding from the center of the docking reticle. As fun as it would be to pull a sick drift into docking, it's best to only move one direction at a time until you are used to how the pods operate. Movement speed forward and backward is displayed on a bar at the bottom of the screen. The bar will be green unless you are going faster than one meter per second, when it will turn orange, indicating you are moving too fast to dock. Once you have moved the pod close enough, the auto docking system will kick in and the pods will latch together. Once again, Altair Corp thanks you for participating in the expedition project. And we would like to remind you that the Altair Corporation takes no responsibility or liability for your well-being or safety 
in the Hellion system.